Good evening, Bliss Business fans. There's another episode of Ask and Answer Richard, and tonight's question comes from Diane Campbell, who, uh, if I could paraphrase it, Diane is asking, how do I get the original fire back, the original blind enthusiasm that caused me to leap over my fear of rejection and my fear of failure and dive into a business perhaps I don't know anything about or I've never done before? And the answer to that, Diane, unfortunately, is you can't get blind enthusiasm back because once you've seen the lay of the land, you can't unring that bell. So the lay of the land that you've seen is that, you know, this is a business, this is work, there is uh, adversity, there's challenge. Uh, as my friend Jordan Adler says, you know, people are people and we're in the people business. So not everybody's going to be on fire, not everybody's going to have integrity, not everybody's going to be productive, not everybody's going to keep their word, not everybody's going to build the business with you. And so oftentimes, if you look just in sheer numbers, there's more uh, disappointment than there is actual success. If you look at the people around you, how many people you've sponsored in the business, you know, there's usually most of them have sort of faded away versus most of them have succeeded. And so in order to stay up for the game, in order to be on fire, about building your business, you've got to employ a different technology than blind enthusiasm. And that technology, I believe, is self-motivation. I have believed uh, for about 30 of my 38 years in this business that nothing is more important than that internal fire that you create and stoke that motivates you to overcome the adversities, that motivates you to overcome the frustrations and the disappointments. And it's actually a technology, it's an art to do that. And the art is to basically learn how to create a story, a story in your mind that you learn to fall in love with, that you learn to believe in, and a story that you carry with you every day. It's a story that you listen to in your head. It's a story that you listen to in your heart. And through that spaced repetition of doing that over time, that story actually becomes your truth. It becomes the, the vision that you pursue in your life. And it draws you through all the adversity, all the pain, all the suffering, all the hard work, if you will. And it inspires you just to keep going for the love of the game. So the answer in short, Diane, to your question is, if you want to create sustained internal motivation for the rest of your career, master the art of personal vision and self-motivation. Thanks for listening. Good night.